Hey, welcome to Alihupa Tipura program Baila Bonito Sverie. This time we're going to have one amazing get from Estocolmo. Un aplauso para Mua! <laughs> How are you, Mua? Welcome to our show. Oh, I feel great. Wow. <laughs> I feel amazing that I'm here. I'm so, like, excited. <laughs> Yes, now Mua gonna tell us and to you a little bit about her talent. ta -da! Oh, I feel so proud that I'm invited to you to talk about my two big passion in life. And it's art and it's dance. And through the art, I'm able to combine them both. That's so, so fantastic. <laughs> So we have some of your paintings here right now. And I know you do kind of a lot of paintings, right? Mm -hmm. You produce and you produce. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and as I understand, you have like recently gotten into this series of making dance paintings. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Painting dance is like so much better than what I did before. Yeah. Uh, like I had one period in my life when I paint a lot and afterwards yeah. I had a period of time yeah. when I danced a lot. Okay. And and through the paintings of dance I'm able I think to express uh, so wow. much more uh, because one thing why I love painting people that dance yeah. is that you are you can like you can express different persons, different feelings. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, for example, you can sometimes, I think like everyone that actually have been dancing yeah. are feeling like sometimes they have been like waiting yeah. or sometimes <laughs> they feel like I'm going so much into the music that I forget mm. everything else. Mm. Yeah. Or, or, or sometimes you just like... <laughs> it's, the call, it's the call people. We yeah. know. We know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's like... We've been there. <laughs> it's yeah. magic. Yeah. It's something like you can't really like feel it no. in other ways. Okay, maybe if you have really, really good sex, I don't know. But <laughs> in other case, you're not able to feel. That like in when moment. you really go into something, <laughs> but you can do it in the dance. Okay, yeah. maybe if I would sing, I would say singing, but yeah. I don't sing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we really appreciate the capacity you have to share your passion. What do you feel? And you, with the people right now, with us, can you explain a little bit about the style, the color, the technique, from where you get this inspiration, you know, in what place you were in Stockholm, in what because you dance salsa, you love to dance. Bachata, yeah. salsa, yeah, kizomba. Yeah, yeah. One thing that I think is really important mm -hmm. uh, with dancing, and one of my good, good memory, because I have met so many people that have inspired me, mm -hmm. or, and, and also helped me to continue, because start dancing wasn't easy. No. For me at least, and I, I think it feels the same for everyone, more or less, I realized after a while, mm. it feels like, I don't know the word in English, Mellow starts disco. Okay, we know so much. So now we're going to talk about a little Swedish till us. I must have learned Swedish also, so why not? Is it right? This is one of the things that are so fantastic to make a dance. Man can feel like different persons, different roles, different days. And today, I thought extra much på hur det var när jag började dansa. Och jag fastnade lite för den här. Och man kan tro att de här personerna är i centrum. Men för mig så är det inte så. Det är de här andra. De som står och väntar på mm. att bli uppbjudna. Yeah. De som väntar på att... De är, de är kanske precis som jag. De var nybörjare. Och det var någon som sa till mig att så här, ja... För alla var det mellanstadsdisco. Mm. För alla. Det tog två år, sa hon, som jag pratade med. <laughs> innan man kom över det. Och jag tänkte så här, shit, my god. Två år. Det är inte möjligt. <laughs> men, inte möjligt. Men, <laughs> två år. Och, och då började jag titta på alla med så här uh, beundran och respekt. För jag tänkte, wow. tänk om alla, alla har stått ut med det här. Yeah. Att vänta. Eller att, att våga börja ta för sig. 
mm. som dansar. Är det på riktigt så? Det är helt galet. Jag tror på dig 100%. Ja, jag tror det. Alltså jag är helt övertygad. Det är så himla lätt att tro mm. så här. Jag är ensam. Mm. Okej. Okay. Now I will explain what I was thinking about when I was painting this one. If I should be honest, one of the things, if you really paint a good painting, like what I'm hoping to do, uh, and if it's dancing, you're supposed to actually realize what kind of dance it is. Mm -hmm. And for me, this is salsa. Here you can feel like, at least I can do, feel like she's doing a turning around. Mm -hmm. And here you can feel like, They are the doing the a like no, yes, yeah, that's, 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 that's my plan. Yes. Uh, and so, so one thing is like, okay, if you, I want the person that looks at the, at the painting to really like, if I'm good, they are going to like imagine what kind of dance style it is. Mm. Uh, and the other thing is, i want to explain different kinds of roles and feeling you can have on a dance floor. Like for me, painting a lot of people together is like the best I, best I think can do because then I can feel so many different feelings. Like for example, like I'm able to show emotions yeah. and a lot of emotions at the same time also. Mm -hmm and a lot of roles that I can feel, I can identify me with all these kind of roles. Sometimes I'm just flowing with the music and the dance. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like a part, but not really a part yeah. of what's happening. Uh, sometimes I'm just like, okay, I should not say robot, but I'm doing my, my thing, but I maybe I don't not have so like, good the mood for dancing, mm -hmm. but I still dance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'm just above everything and I'm one with the music <laughs> instead. And you don't care about what lines are. Exactly, you exactly. Yeah. That's, that's, like, that's what I wanted to capture, all the different roles. Yeah. Yes, now we are here, Mina Salsa Bennett, or new Fuchetta Man. Don't throw us on a little spicy. Edurredo! Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Okay, the first of all, we hope for they are at. Boy, the first of all, you do come at the end of the political set. Nothing that would make the society so jämn... So, outjämna skillnader. För det tänker jag är viktigt, men jag har inget klart svar på vad jag skulle ändra på just nu. Men någonting som gör att det inte, blir, att det inte är sådana skillnader som idag. Salsa eller vad känner Salsa. Salsa. Ja, Salsa. Vi älskar vad chatta också, eller hur? Fast i mitt hjärta är jag någon flamenco. Oh. Oh. Men jag kan inte dansa det och jag är inte snabb i fötterna, men i mitt hjärta alltid. Väljer du Latino lover eller European lover? Jag har jag ens. Får man bara säga det? Pass, pass, pass. Nej, kom no, pass. Nästa fråga. Om du får välja tid eller pengar? Eh. Alltså, det är ju väldigt svårt, för jag tänker att pengar köper mig tid. Så är det ju. Så att tiden förutsätter att jag har pengarna. Alltså, jag är lite så här trygghetsnarkoman. Jag vill veta att jag har mina pengar, typ lite så. Jag har ett fast jobb. Men om jag... Om jag nej, det är klart att jag betalar med min tid. Ja, så klart. Skulle du hellre gå ner, liksom, inte ha så mycket pengar, men ha mycket mm. tid? Jag skulle helst ha jättemycket tid och jättemycket pengar. Det är det jag vill. Det är det jag vill. Nej, hon, hon, vill hon, hon vill fuska lite. Jag är lite så faktiskt. Jag är, ja. uh, det går om man är så. Okay. Jag, vill ha, jag vill ha båda och. Okej. Okay. 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 Samma svar Nej, jag är inte så feg. Kom igen. Vad är din favoritfärg? Mulat, svart och vit? 
Alltså, eh, i mitt fantasi när jag var barn, min dröm var att vara född med lapp. På riktigt. Jag ville verkligen det. Det var min, så här, min barndomsdröm. Och jag var väldigt besviken över att jag var väldigt, väldigt vit. I sommar är jag mulat. Follow me on Instagram and follow my picture. If you need to choose only one, would it be painting or dancing? Mm. This is really hard. Uh, but I think I would choose dancing, actually. Oh! Yeah. Oh. Painting I didn't it. expect this. No, no, it's like I miss it so much. Mm. Even though I'm painting now and I'm really, really happy for yeah. it, I miss it so, so much. Yes. Yeah. And it, it gives you something else. Okay, yes. sometimes, okay, painting is like quite fun all the time, yeah. but dancing is like very, very good mm. and not so good. Yeah. Very, very good. Yeah. So when it's like lovely, perfect, you have your moment, mm. it's something greater. If you had the possibility to have one million of dollars, what are you going to do with this? The first thing you're going to do with this money. One million dollars. First, I would calculate how much money I need to have a good safety for myself and my children. And afterwards, I will calculate what I can give to probably people in that don't have so good opportunity in life. I'm not sure what, but I will focus on young people. Young people. Mm -hmm. I need to say this woman has a lot, one big heart. This woman, un aplauso because it's yeah. Yes, beautiful people, now is the time to say goodbye to this wonderful woman. And thank you, we want to say thank you very much for our program to be here, so be so humble to share your experience, your wonderful energy with us. Oh, yes, yes. it's really an honor to have you here. It was an honor to be here. <laughs> and we are looking so much forward to seeing more of your art and maybe some exhibition in the future. Yeah, let's hope for that. Yes, and if you want to see more of her art, well, you can follow her on Instagram, right? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, and we will put the link right here. And uh, thank, you. Yeah, thank you again. So. See you more in the future. Yes! yes. Bye, la bonito Sverige! And two, three, let's go! Shot! Una aventura loca. Y como le gusta a mi gente. Se te nota, nota, y mira cómo me provoca, dice, se te ve en la carita, que tú eres una loquita, recuerda que soy psiquiatra, el médico de la salsa.